Yellowstone supervolcano, an anomaly could explain its volcanic activity. Scientists discovered an anomaly deep underground beneath Yellowstone supervolcano, which might explain the volcanic activity at the picturesque site. It sits on uh, the northwest corner of Wyoming into uh, Idaho and Montana. Yellowstone National Park sits above the enormous volcanic hotspot. It's responsible for large-scale volcanism in the states of Idaho, Montana, Nevada, Oregon, Wyoming. The hotspot is an area of the Earth's crust where hot plumes rise from the mantle below and cause volcanic activity at the surface. The Yellowstone hotspot has produced three super eruptions in the total 2.1 million years, 1.3 million years, and about 640,000 years ago, which was a double eruption. They each formed their own caldera. Its formation was the subject of intense debate for decades. Scientists facing difficulty studying what lies in the deeper mantle, as mantle plumes can easily evade detection since they are generally quite slender. But a breakthrough study in 2018 analyzed the seismic um, waves under the surface at Yellowstone, detecting an anomaly. So using a dense network of seismometers, researchers Peter Nelson and Stephen Grant from University of Texas analyzed the seismic waves detected by 71 earthquakes across the U.S. to gain a better understanding of the material in the mantle plume. Seismic waves travel faster through cold rock than hot rock, and so something extremely hot such as the mantle plume would slow down the waves. Mr. Nelson and Mr. Grant's research found a single narrow, cylindrically shaped slow anomaly about 350 kilometers in diameter that we interpret as a whole mantle plume. Their research published in Nature said, the anomaly is the deep origin for the Yellowstone hotspot. And they said, a research published in Nature, they said the anomaly is the deep origin of the Yellowstone hotspot. They added the evidence for the existence of the thin mantle plume is currently beyond the resolution of global tomography models. The plume, Mel Nelson and Grant said, is rooted at the core mantle boundary near Mexico-California border and runs northeast beneath the western U.S. to Yellowstone as it gradually rises through the mantle. The research contained, contains, uh, continues as we conclude that a plume rising from the CMB is the ultimate heat source driving Yellowstone volcanism, and this is the plume coming from Baja, California. Now, according to the study, the volcanic plume around 600 to 800 degrees Celsius warmer than surrounding areas is responsible for the volcanism witnessed in Yellowstone. Global topography, they said, would not detect this kind of a plume, and they may also exist elsewhere as well. Barbara Romanowitz, planetary seismologist at the University of California, said Yellowstone presents a unique opportunity to image a plume under a continent. There's probably a plume under Hawaii and another under Iceland, but we don't have the seismic coverage from seafloor instruments to image those. Similar plumes may also exist under Africa. We know that that's where the Great Rift Valley is located. It's all magma under there. And also Antarctica. We know Antarctica has at least 147 volcanoes, and some of them are super volcanoes, but seismic detection, uh, there's another one, under, they say, under Alaska. Now, the um, uh, given that most hotspots also lie beneath the ocean floor, it's unlikely that there will be a sufficient seismometer network to establish satisfactory picture of what lies beneath. Nelson and Grand's breakthrough discovery came as Volcanologists speculate it may never erupt on an enormous scale again. According to USGS, volcanoes do not follow predictable schedules, despite claims Yellowstone is overdue for an eruption. USGS website says most volcanic systems that have a super eruption do not have them multiple times. When super eruptions do occur more than once in a volcanic system, they are not evenly spaced in time. They say, although another catastrophic eruption of Yellowstone is possible, scientists are not convinced that one will ever happen. 
The rhyolite magma chamber beneath Yellowstone is only 5 to 15% molten. The rest is solidified, but not still. it's still hot. So it's unclear if there is even enough magma under the caldera to feed an eruption. If Yellowstone does erupt again, it need not be a large eruption. The most recent volcanic eruption at Yellowstone was a lava flow that occurred 70,000 years ago. And this is on Express UK by Charles Pitluck. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.